Ah, oh, mate. So you got Tank Davis, you know, was not entertaining the Devin Haney fight, but is willing to take on Conor Ben. And it is what it is, man. That's what I'm saying with Tank Davis. I'm not going to, like, he's a cash cow and all this kind of stuff there. I'm not going to um, blame him because it seems that a lot of people don't want to mention Canelo for doing these ta antics. I'm not going to I'm not, I'm not gonna take on um, Tank Davis doing the same antics. Now, don't get twisted. Canelo has obviously won titles and all that kind of stuff there, but it's the same dilemma. Like I said, Tank, we want Tank in there against, like I said, Devin Haney. Shakur, like Shakur, all these we want all of these guys mixing up, but he's now mentioning Conor Ben, yeah, Conor Ben, an easy fight, bro, easy fight. It's the same dilemma where you got with um, uh, what cheese? What's his name? Um, Canelo with David Benavides. We've been waiting. We've been wanting this fight. Canelo's not giving us this fight, so we could. If we have energy for one, we've got to have it for the other, yeah? And so, yeah, it is what it is. Look, in my eyes, Tank Davis, um, he will never go down as an all-time great. Uh, yeah, he ain't really fought anyone. I've seen um, IFL put something about who's got a better CV between Tank and... Devin Haney, bro, don't don't even mention that. And I know even Teddy Atlas try and mention something in the lines of, I think Tank Davis has got the best resume, bro. He, they, compared to Devin Haney's resume, leave it off, man. And even Teddy Atlas is a guy that you know, like maybe because obviously he's a big fan of Tank Davis, yeah. But let's just keep it. We've got to keep this thing hundred. We've got to keep it one hundred. Stop talking about um, Tank, you know. Giving Tank all these um, accolades and he ain't done nothing. He ain't done nothing. Like, don't get it twisted. At least Canelo has gone in there, um, won world titles. Like, yeah, he's, he's cherry. I always was used the word cherry picked at the elite level, taking on certain fighters and avoiding certain fighters, but he has won world titles. Tank Davis is still yet to be a world champion. I know, I think he's won the regular, and I can't remember who. who he, who it's with but yeah he ain't really fought anyone the fights that we want stop like um yeah the fights that we want we want to see tank in there with yeah bro we want to see tank in there with haney make that all of those guys mixing it up all of them mixing it up but yeah you're not entertaining the Conor ben fight we know what you're entertaining the Conor ben fight Conor ben is very beatable uh our favorite tank to beat Conor ben um, yeah, it is what it is. With Conor Ben, I don't even know what Eddie Hearn wants to do with him, like, to be honest with you. Talking about, like, Tank Davis, uh, even mentioning Manny Pacquiao, mentioning um, the Eubank Jr. fight. Listen, Conor Ben, you need to clear out. You're not even the best in your country, mate. You're, you're not even the best in the country. And shout out, I even forgot about McKinson. McKinson was another guy who you should have gone in there with. Um, obviously, I've always um, I've always wanted to see him in there against Avenissian just based on what Josh Kelly done, how he got dealt with Avenissian. And that was the kind of fight that we were kind of leading up to before Avenissian, um, you know, ripped that script up. He should have said, you know what, let me deal with him. Do you get what I'm saying? Let me show you what, what levels I'm at. But yeah, like... Connor Ben seems to be just going backwards and it just looks like to me um, it looks like Eddie Hearn's more kind of like you know just trying to cash him out that's how we're looking at it yeah I don't just look at him just trying to cash him out because what really can you do with Connor Ben do you like can you honestly say do you see Connor Ben like can you say comfortably yeah he could beat McKinson yeah do you say comfortably he could be even that like guys like Mark, Mark who, uh, bro, we don't know what level he's at because he took on the lights of Chris Algieri, um, Van, what's it, Van Hay Hayden, uh, um, Samuel, Samuel Vargas. Like, he's talking on these kind of guys, yeah? Now, let's be real, the, the over the hill, yeah? Eddie Hearn, how he was pushing him, he's pushing him the right way, but 
Yeah, like I said, mentioning the whole Eubank Jr. fight when they were when that fight was was going on, bro. It's just yeah, it's, it's, it's all madness. It's all complete madness. But let's see where it goes. Um, Tank Davis, Conor Ben. I'll watch the fight, but I don't really care. Like I said, it's just I don't care about the fight. I'll be more interested. I mean, it would be a lot more interesting to me to see Conor Ben going in there. Even, you know what, even like I said, Avenissim, but I'm not confident Conor Ben beats Avenissim. I'm not confident even Conor Ben beating Echo Esselman, uh, Congo, any of these guys, any of these welterweights. I am not that confident. I can't say, like, wholeheartedly that Conor Ben beats all these guys. We don't know what level this guy's at. But yeah, you're going in there against uh, Tank Davis. Um, oh, one thing as well I've got to mention on this. I know Spencer Oliver was talking about... Um, Kind of been, you know, he seems to his power seems to be gone. Now, once again, when I'm looking at it, it's with Kind of Ben. He's um, yes, he's not, well. It was a premature stoppage with the Samuel Vargas fight. Uh, yeah, he ran Van Hayden and uh, Chris Algieri, but bro, let's be real. The over the hill, the over the hill. He's gone in there against two big guys. And obviously, he's like, yeah, he ain't, he ain't knocked them out. Because he ain't knocked them out, it doesn't mean, like, I'm not going to say, oh, yeah, because he, he's not, he's um, not saying that Spencer Oliver's saying it, but it's like, oh, since he's been caught with, you know, like, seems like his power's gone. I don't know. I generally don't know. Like, he's never been a big puncher to me. I just feel like he's just matchroom guided in the right way. Now, uh, it, it does to me look like they just don't know what they're doing with him. Like I said, taking on a Tank Davis, bro. Come on, leave it, like, leave it out, man. Like, you, you mentioned him about Bud Crawford. Like, bro, like, looking at your performance, and you want to try and talk about Bud Crawford. Um, yeah, let's just see Conor Ben in there with the lights of, um, go go back to like I said, go, go through British level. Let's see where you're at. If not, go and take on David Avenissim. Let's see where you're at. Talking about all the, like, Tank Davis and, um, who else? Who else? Yeah, like, Devin Haney. Bro, like, these guys will, they will, they will done your dance, mate. They will, like, not saying that you won't get, you won't get sparked out, but you, you just be shown levels. You be shown levels. Like, don't get twisted. Conor Ben's punch variety, like, you, you gotta give, like, he does, he does have punch variety, but, mate, the, the the skill level, mate, it's like Conor Ben's here and these guys are up here and some. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, you know, like sometimes I'll say to myself, like when I look at Conor Ben, you know, if you're doing a, um, you know, if you're doing track and field and uh, you've gone around the track already twice, but because you're next to Conor Ben, man's thinking, yo, I'm on that level. When I'm like, bro, there's, I'm, I've already gone around there twice. Do you get what I'm saying? I've already gone around, I've, I've done two laps. And because what, if you see me next to you, you think we're on the same level. Bro, you're, you're nowhere near these levels, man. You're nowhere near these levels. Um, you, your, your ring at IQ is not that sharp. Um, like I said, you've got punch variety work, I say, and you're very explosive, very athletic, and all this kind of stuff there. But... Not against these guys, but these guys, there's levels. Tank Davis is a position puncher. Like, he will find those shots where you're going in and, yeah, he'll land those shots. Uh, Devin Haney will just box your head off. Crawford will done your dance, mate. That, it, it, bro, that's that's symmetry for you. Uh, Boots Ennis. Like, based on what I've seen of Boots Ennis, but his record don't really, his record ain't saying nothing much. But Boots Ennis, yeah, Boots Ennis are favour. Eubank Jr., you're going in there against the Eubank Jr. Um, unless you're going to do what you've done last time where you put him down to one, I think it was 157, where whether it's Conor Ben or, he, yeah, the matchroom, matchroom guys, put him down there. If you put him down there, yeah, then I do favour Conor Ben because the guy's weight drained, do you get what I'm saying? Uh, but if you're talking about a fully fit Eubank Jr., who doesn't need to do he doesn't need to do no rehydration clause and all that kind of stuff there. Bro, he will done these guys up. So yeah, that's that's it. Where David Avenissium, I'm I'm not confident Conor Ben beats him. Echo Esselman, I'm not confident he beats him. 
Um, yeah, bro. Any, any, any of these British fighters, I can't say I'm confident. Conor Ben beats all of these guys. You're talking about yeah, you're 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 the best um, welterweight in Britain, mate. You ain't fought no. Anyway, you know what? Could go over and over again about this, but you get the drift. So, as your friend, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and until the next one, stay blessed, everyone.